This video will show you how to deploy MongoDB using Helm on Kubernetes and Portworks. So we have four nodes, Portworks is installed, we have 105 gigabytes of total capacity, and we're putting a watch on our pods and our volume list. So first thing you have to do is create a storage class. Here we have three replicas IO profile DB. We're defining the PXPVC with 10 gigabytes, and we're going to create that with kubectl command. You see that the PVC has been dynamically created. We're now using Helm to install MongoDB. We're passing in the existing claim PXPVC. We're using the stable MongoDB Helm chart. Here we have a PX MongoDB service. We have our pod and we have our volume with 10 gigabytes and three replicas. We're gonna exec into our pod. We're gonna invoke the Mongo client with our service name, and we're going to insert a couple of records, Francois Martel and my lovely daughter, Mia Martel. Now we're going to simulate a failure by cordoning off the node where MongoDB is running, K1 and 2 and then deleting the pod. So you'll see down below the volume reattach to a different node. That happens very quickly. Our pod is starting and we're going to exec into our restarted pod uh, after uncordoning the node to verify that the data is intact. So again, we're execing using Mongo client and passing in the service name. So both Francois and Mia are still on our database, everything is fine. Next, we're going to show you how to expand a volume. So here I'm using kubectl uh, kube system, finding my portworks pod, and I'm executing the portworks pixie cuddle client commands through Kubernetes. Um, here I'm going to inspect my volume, it shows I have 10 gigabytes, and I'm going to update the size of my volume to 20 gigabytes and show that it's reflected here. And down below you see where my replicas are stored. My pod is still running. I can then take a snapshot. So I'm gonna use this YAML to create a snapshot on demand. Snapshots can be scheduled as part of your storage class definition as well. So I can use kubectl commands to verify that my snapshot was successful and then create a new PVC from this snapshot. Now, next thing I'm going to do is uh, simulate a, a terrible user error. I'm going to exec back into my MongoDB client, passing in the MongoDB service name, and then I'm going to just uh, remove Francois and Mia from my database. Uh, there's no more people in my database, and I'm going to show how to recover from this PVC that I had just uh, showed you. So I'm creating the PVC now, I have a new volume, and I can pass this volume into my Helm chart. I'm gonna create a second deployment, refer to this uh, volume that was created from the snapshot, and then we're gonna show that the data is intact. So still using stable MongoDB. This is gonna start, I have a new service name, and I have a new pod that is attached to this PVC. I'm gonna use this pod to exec into uh, my MongoDB client and show that the data has been recovered. So if I search for my people now, Mia and Francois are back in my database. So note that I haven't touched my original pod, it's still running with the deleted data. So now what I'm going to do next is uh, show you how you can use replica sets in MongoDB. So I'm creating a new storage class here, PX22 storage class, that has only two replicas because we want fast recovery of our nodes and maximum protection of our data. So here I'm going to use the MongoDB replica set Helm chart and pass in the storage class that I just defined. The replica set Helm chart is using a stateful set, and so the volumes are going to get created dynamically for each member of the replica set. The stateful set initializes one pod at a time, and the 
first one it creates will be our master and then we'll have two secondaries and you see down below my volumes have been created I can exec into this replica set master and run my client 